Hey friends, I just wanted to show you a really cool technique that I've been working on and um, that I got from some other presenters that I wanted to show you with our awesome brow gel. So uh, in, in previous videos that I've seen, I see people that go like this, but I want you to watch and see if you can tell a difference. So instead of going like this, I'm going to go against the grain of my eyebrow. So I'm gonna get some this is my medium, I guess it's this way, brow gel. I'm gonna get some, the nice, they say don't pump it like this. Again, that dries out your um, gel and it same goes with mascara. Sorry, there's a weird shadow. Um, but let me just show you. So I'm going to go in a circular motion that I'm gonna just go like this. I'm like crazy. difference this is just with the gel I haven't done anything out of the ordinary just my sad little brows okay and then I'm gonna go with my eyebrows now that I've got a little bit of the gel on there And the nice thing is is that it's gelling them in place so they're not gonna go all crazy which I don't know about you but I have major issues. Mine always fall down, so. There's still a few of them. I'm just gonna have to cut them or trim them or something. But you can already tell a difference between this one and this one, and this is just the gel, which that's awesome. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my brow liner and I'm gonna just kinda go like this. Even though I just gelled it in place, I don't really wanna ruin it. I just, I can see that there's some spots that are missing. So then I'm going to open it and I'm not gonna go clear up here like this, just a little bit. Sorry that there's some shadows. And I'm going to just go like this. Fill it in just a little bit. I don't have to do a lot because I, again, used a lot of my gel and that was really helpful. So I just fill in the spots that I feel like just need a little bit more. And you can already tell a difference. Sad brows, happy brows. Didn't even take me five minutes to do that. If you had to do it on the run, um, you could totally do it in the car, not saying that you should because it's probably not very safe, but let me just move my light so you can see the difference. Sad and very much better. Very happy. So there you have it. Just thought I'd share a helpful tip. Thanks.